Okay, so we'll turn manual focus assist on. And what this does is it should be called automatic zoom because that's what happens. The minute that I touch this, it'll come in really tight and allow me to see critical focusing. And I can move the joystick up and down like that. So if I, I just want to check out how the eyes are doing, I can do that. And then the minute that I touch the button to start shooting, it'll go back to its regular cropping. Now you'll notice here, I've got red all over her hair. That is called peaking. So the way peaking works is you would go over here, and I like it in red. Now that is, that's on low. So we'll put the peaking level on high, and now you'll see a whole bunch of red. So that red, and I'll, I'll take it in and out of focus, it's going to be a little confusing here because I've got two tools going on right now. But actually, I want to show you something. Let's see if it goes. Okay, so there's her hair. Now watch her hair. See how it turns red? That means that that's in focus. So the combination of those th two things together allow you to do critical manual focusing. Now, manual focus assist should not be on when you're doing video because it'll just drive you nuts. So for a continuous moving video, better to just go like this and have um, the peaking on. Because that way, you know, you can follow focus, but not have to actually see really tight into the, uh, into the screen in order to find out when it's focusing. It's very fast. Like when it's red, it's on. When it's not in red, then it's off. And that's peaking.